is Matt Nagy taking too much heat for the Bears' struggles? Nope. Not at all. Matt Nagy was on the hot seat coming into this season. And uh, to prove that he was on the hot seat, what did he go out there and do? Draft a rookie quarterback. That's the formula. Like the DOC said, the formula. The formula is get your rookie quarterback. Oh, he needs time. We do too. Let's go out there and get us some runway. Here's the problem with doing that. It can backfire. Ask Jeff Fisher, my man who I respect. Oh, let's go get Jared Goff. Hey, bro, we 0 and 7 with you and Jared Goff. How'd that look? Jeff Fisher, either you or Jared Goff got to go. Guess what? We gonna say you got to go. We see what you were trying to do to switch your rule there. Matt Nagy is 0 and 5 versus Matt LaFleur and those Green Bay Packers. That's unacceptable for Bears fans. Bears are just 3 and 11 versus playoff teams under Matt Nagy. 1 and 6 this year against winning teams. Not going to cut it. And he was brought in because he was supposed to win playoff games. Quarterback whisperer. You can make all these things happen. You know what they've done in the playoffs the two times they've been there? Average 12 points a game in both games. 12 points a game. So wait a minute. You're a quarterback whisperer, offensive guru, and our offense is suspect, if not worse. In his four seasons, guess what they're ranked? 21st. <laughs> and scoring offense, 22nd. Man, stop playing with me. We're not going to get rid of Justin Fields. We're going to blame that Justin Fields is not developing to his fullest because of you, Matt Nagy. So I believe in some of this report. I believe that Matt Nagy may be in trouble. So I think he's in trouble, but he's definitely taking way too much oh, heat. Did you hear what I just uh, said? And a part of me is, a part of it is because people like me have given him heat. Man, we all have this person we were in relationship with or friendship with or any ship with. That <laughs> we can't see them do any evil in our eyes or the person we can't stand. Who can do no good in our eyes? Take your time. Think of the person. You have him. We all do. Um, Matt Nagy, he could do no good in our eyes. Oh, stop. Justin Fields could do no wrong in our eyes. Matt Nagy said, hey, y'all, I don't want to play Justin Fields. He's not ready. Uh -huh. Play Fields, Matt Nagy. Play Fields. What are you doing? You're sabotaging the Bears. This is, this is career negligence. Mm -hmm. You got people, you got analysts going out there saying Matt Nagy that. is completely undermining the entire team, all these grown men. Mm, I heard that. So he plays Justin Fields. And Justin Fields has one of the historically poor performances in NFL history. <laughs> not all Justin Fields' fault. A lot of the offensive line's fault. But it happened nonetheless. Justin Fields has been pretty bad a lot of this season. He's a rookie. What do you expect? But then Justin Fields had a highlight couple plays just a couple games ago. And we all take to Twitter. See, this is Justin Fields' NFL moment. Justin Fields is ready. Should have played him from the jump. We ignore Justin Fields' games with 44 passer ratings. We ignore Justin oh, Fields' game with multiple interceptions. And we only look at the good. Mm. We ignore it when Matt Nagy tells us the truth. And we only look at the bad. Bruh. Just last game, Justin Fields played and Andy Dalton played. Justin Fields was 4 for 11, 73 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Andy Dalton goes in, falls out, two touchdowns, no picks, and almost has the Bears about to win that game at the end of the game over the Ravens without uh, Lamar Jackson, we all know. Matt Nagy is like, bruh, I'm told y'all this. What do you say? Andy Dalton was better than Justin Fields, but y'all don't want to listen to me. So mm. now I'm on the hot seat because I cowered to what you all wanted mm. and played Justin Fields when I should have stuck with Andy Dalton the whole time. Mm. Matt Nagy taking unnecessary heat because he can't do right, and either way, if he does right, we call it wrong. Ooh, that was so good. God, I want to map that on the reality, but the problem is I know the timeline. I know the calendar. He was on the hot seat before Andy Dalton and Justin Fields had to battle it out. You don't want to know why? Because he was already suspect in their eyes. So, Andy Dalton, you can't save me. Justin Fields, you can't save me unless I show flashes of your brilliance consistently as an offensive mind. But here's the problem. He hasn't done that, man. You look at them right now, they're scoring 16 points a game this season. Fewest for the franchise, the Bears. Like, this is not the Rams or some high-flying offense. The Bears, in 16 years, this is the worst offense that they've seen. And you're a quarterback whisper, offensive-minded coach? I'll give it to you like this. There are six teams that have a worse offense since Matt Nagy's been as the head coach of the Bears. Six teams. And every single one of them has had a coaching change. <laughs> Want to know who number seven going to be? The Chicago Bears, the Dolphins, the Washington football team. Jets, Giants, Bengals, Lions, Broncos, Jaguars, and add the Bears to it. You can't ask this rookie to cool down your hot seat for you. 
If you don't put a fire out, it grows. Take it from me, I'm a pyro. I know this. So guess what? He didn't put the fire out. And it was already hot before the season started. He tried to go with the switcheroo with the rookie. Then he tried to say, well, let me lead and let me do it my way, Andy Dalton. But guess what? We still got receipts from the years prior that he hasn't addressed. And right now, it just seems like a continuum of what it was. But, Sal, this is what me and my homie call bad math, coach. It oh. ain't adding up, oh. man. Oh. Because if Mitch Trubisky isn't a good quarterback, did you think Mitch Trubisky was a starting caliber quarterback? I did. I didn't think he was bad, but Mitch is only making $2.5 million this year, and he ain't starting. Yep. So he's not a starting not caliber a starting quarterback. That's what the NFL that. has told us. It's not my words, not Stell's words. The NFL's yep. words. Facts. But if Matt Nagy made the playoffs two of the last three years without a starting caliber quarterback, he got to be doing something right. If Matt Nagy is 31-27 no, and 27 since 2018, tied for the 12th best record, identical record with the Dallas Cowboys, a better record than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, mm -hmm. a better record than the Minnesota Vikings, a better record than your Chargers. If Matt Nagy made the playoffs two of three years without a starting caliber quarterback, then who's going to get credit for that? Mm. We're not giving it to Mitch because Mitch Trubisky clearly isn't that good. Mitch. Let the world tell it. Stop. We're not giving it to the Bears' skill positions because they haven't had anybody they appreciate. Allen Robinson, but they don't love him all that much. Mm. We're not giving it to the Bears' running game. I like David Montgomery, but he's not getting the credit. Mm. So who's going to get it? You can say Khalil Mack that first year he showed up, that 2018 year. Return but to who's going to get it this past year, last year, Mitch's last year, 2020? Hmm. Matt Nagy got to get the credit because we're not just going to let the credit disperse into oxygen, disperse into thin air. There's a reason the Bears made the playoffs, hmm. and they made the playoffs without a starting caliber quarterback. That has to get some credit and give some credit to Matt Nagy for it. But what credit? What's that credit limit? A dollar? Like, five, like how much credit you giving out? They ain't done what have they done? I'm looking at the Bears right now. Season one with Matt Nagy, you scored 26 points a game. Now you're down to 16. How low can you go? What kind of credit are you talking about? It's that Knicks check cash and stuff where they used to – you ever do that? I don't know about you. You probably – you were raised better than me um, in terms of financial literacy. Um, Knicks check cashing. I don't know if they're still around. I'm sorry I had to bring the story up. I'll tweet out my little card too. Broke as hell I was in there. And when you don't have credit – when you can't go to the bank and, you know, you ain't got time to wait, whatever, you go to the check cashier place, right? They hitting you over the head for like 18%, but you go there. I'm looking at Matt Nagy in Chicago as like Nick check cashing. Like, dog, you come here out of desperation. We still sticking with you out of desperation. When you bring up the Cowboys, you bring up the Chargers. Guess what they did, bro? They switched their coaches in the time span that you talk about with Matt Nagy. Every team I listed that have a worse offense has switched their coach. I'm sorry. It seems like the doors are closing in.